Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you my makeup tutorial for date nights. And this is what I usually do when I'm going on a date with my husband. Now I am a busy mom of two plus a stepdaughter, so really three. And on most days I do not go through the um, huge routine of putting on a whole bunch of makeup. There's really no point. Um, my kids don't care if I wear makeup or not, but I like to feel pretty when I go out on a date as, you know, I'm a stay at home mom, so it's fun to get dressed up and get out of the house and feel pretty you know what I mean. So this is what I do for date nights. I am going to show you what I use. Now most of the things that I use are drugstore. For this tutorial I may have a few little items that are not drugstore. Um, a lot of it, so it's just kind of like, like a mixture of both. I do have an everyday makeup tutorial that is more drugstore related. So if you want drugstore only, check out that video for sure. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to start off with my foundation and today I'm going to be using the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Foundation and this is in the color medium. A lot of times I wear the light color but um, I can kind of wear either one. It just really depends. Sometimes I will mix my True Match Lumi with it just to kind of cool it down just a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm just going to give one tiny little pump and then mix them up kind of gives a like a perfect color for me so I'm just gonna mix that up on my hand and I'm going to just kind of dot that on my face but I am going to use my Real Techniques um, Beauty Blender sponge I'm just gonna kind of go ahead and um, I don't know if I mentioned that I did wet this it's damp so that it doesn't soak in as much product this thing needs to be washed big time but my mirror is right here so if I'm looking down just a little bit that's why. Now anything left on my um, hand, I'm just going to take these little Burt's Bees palette and wipe it off. My husband got these for me, he put them in my stocking um, for Christmas and I use the simple ones on my face. I love those and I think he thought the green package was the same thing. So cute. So I use them to wipe off my hand because I'm not crazy about the cucumber smell. I don't really want that on my face, I'm kind of weird about that. So. Okay, next I am going to pull out my concealer, and for concealer I'm going to be using the uh, Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, and my color is light. I'm going to put that underneath my eyes, for sure. I put that under my eyes, and then I will also put some on my chin, because my chin seems to get red a lot, and then around my nose. My nose gets really red, I don't know why. Just And down my nose. So that is my concealer. I'm looking good. to be using my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder just to set it a little bit. I don't use a whole lot of this. So far this is looking a lot like my everyday foundation or everyday makeup routine but I promise it's gonna get a little bit different. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of dust lightly dust this all over my face including a little bit under my eye area. My, my uh, under eye area. Okay, so I'm going to be using the Instant Age Rewind Eraser Concealer, and this is in the brightening shade, and I'm just going to put this like under my eyes right here, and then a little bit down my nose and the Cupid's bow, just to kind of brighten up my face a little bit. I'm 
going to go ahead and take my Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula and I am going to kind of contour my face a little bit. contoured my face just a little bit. I am looking really scary. I didn't realize how scary I look like without any eye makeup. It's pretty scary. I'm going to go ahead and fill my brows in. I'm using the Benefit Gimme Brow in the shade number or color number one. to go ahead and use Wet n Wild Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer. Since this is more of a date night look, I am going to use um, a little bit like darker colors and colors that I definitely uh, most of the time would not use during the day. And that means I'm going to step out of my box just a little bit and um, use different colors than what I normally do. So I'm going to be using the Milani Must Have Neutrals Everyday Eyes Palette. I'm actually going to use the brush that it comes with. I will also use just a cheap e.l.f. brush as well. We're keeping this real, guys. We're keeping this real. I'm not about to pull out any fancy, super fancy eyeshadow brushes on you. So I'm going to be using this first color, which is like a highlight kind of base shade, and I am just going to sweep that all over the lid. Okay, so next I'm going to be taking this one right here from the inner to outer co uh, corner of my eye. So next I'm going to be taking this third color right here and sweeping that um, from the middle to like the center of the lid. Lastly, I'm going to be using this fourth color on the outer crease. Okay, so there is the eyeshadow and that is quite different than what you're used to seeing on me. I don't normally do this dark of eyes on a regular basis, obviously. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put on some eyeliner and this is the Wet n Wild Mega Liner. And like I said in my everyday makeup tutorial, this stuff is awesome. It's super cheap and works really well. I've been using it for a really long time. So I'm gonna go ahead and just line my upper lashes, not my lower lashes. My hair is crazy right now. Don't worry, I'm not wearing my hair like this on a date. <laughs> this is just what I woke up with. So I have on my eyeliner and now I'm going to go ahead and put on my mascara. If you can imagine, today I'm going to be using the Super Sizer by CoverGirl. I rarely ever use any other mascara and this is in the very black. Now I'm going to take just like a small little angled brush and this is e.l.f. small angled brush. 
and I am going to put it into the black of the Milani palette and line my under eyes. I do not line my under eyes with um, the Wet n Wild liquid. That would just be way too much and my eyes would probably start watering and then it would just be a big black wet mess. So I just put a little bit on here and then I will line my under eyes, not all the way to the corner, just about, um, I don't know, two thirds of the way. So next I'm going to go ahead and do blush and I'm going to be using the Real Techniques blush brush and I'm going to be using the NARS Orgasm blush. filming this and then putting it on and realized the camera wasn't going. So I am using the Essence So Glow Cream to Powder Highlighter and I just like to use my finger because I feel like it gives the best, um, like it's the best application because a brush can kind of be like too concentrated and then it's hard to blend out. So as you can see on this side I had already started because I thought the camera was going and it obviously wasn't so I just applied it right here on my cheekbone with my finger and I'm, I started this side and I'm going to finish it. So just right here on your cheekbone. And I'm gonna put a little bit on my Cupid's bow right here. You can put it, you can put it anywhere that you want to highlight. What is on my forehead? Usually for date nights, I will apply a few false lashes and really just to the outsides, to the um, outsides of my eyes, not like completely across. So I like to use these and these are just individual little lashes. Um, I think that they're by Kiss Lashes and I buy mine at a grocery store here in Texas, but I'm pretty sure you can find these at Walmart, but they are not the Ardell ones. These are the Kiss ones and they work really well. I have never ever liked um, lashes because I always felt really uncomfortable on my eyes. It would like poke me and stuff until I found the individual ones. And this is the Ardell Lash Grip Adhesive and I just like to squeeze this out onto my hand. I think like the end is drying out and so it's making it difficult to squeeze out. So I just put a little bit on my hand like this and then I kind of just pull these off and these are the extra short and short ones. And this, I think this is an extra short one. And then I just use my fingers and apply them to the outsides of my lid. So there's one. And I'm just dipping them into the glue in the back of my hand. And here's two. So each eye has two on the end. And I'm going to put on some lip color. Okay, and I just did it again where I thought that I was filming and then realized that I didn't push the button again. I'm having problems today. So I am using the Revlon Matte Balm in Sultry and I'm going to finish putting this on um, like I was and this is a very comfortable lip color. I like to wear something a little bit brighter for date nights rather than my normal nude kind of my lip but better color as I do like every day. I like something a little bit prettier for date night and this is really comfortable, not too high maintenance. Um, it just feels really good on your lips and the color payoff is amazing for a balm. I cannot wait to try some other colors of these. I wanna see if they're all just as good as this one. Okay guys, so that is my makeup for date night. It's a little bit fancier than what I usually do every day, but still kind of practical. Like I didn't use too many um, non-drugstore things. It's still a very affordable look, but it's um, a little bit fancier than usual. Now I forgot to say that I will usually set everything with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Spray when I'm all done with the look. And this kind of helps to keep everything in place throughout the night or day if it's a day date. Um, but it helps keep everything in place and this is very reasonable. I think it's like $5. This is very comparable to the Urban Decay Setting Spray. I used to use that before I found this and I found that this works just as well. So I would definitely get some of this if you are looking for a more affordable um, setting spray. 
All right, so this is the finished look. I went ahead and just curled my hair with the Numi wand. If you're interested in a Numi wand tutorial, I actually have one already. I will link it below. That way you can figure out how to get this hairstyle. And it's super easy. It really only took me about five to 10 minutes to do. And I am ready for date night. So I hope you guys enjoyed this um, little fancier makeup tutorial. I will link the products that I used down below and um, if you are interested you can check those out don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and a subscribe to my channel and I seriously burnt my thumb with my newbie wand that hurt really bad I will see you all in my next video bye